Hey, good morning, guys. Um, <coughs> so, um, I always have to do that every time I turn the camera on. Like, my, I feel totally fine, and then I turn the camera on, and I have to clear my throat. I don't know why. But I told you in the last video, which I'm going to upload today, I told you that we are going to go to a gun shooting range today, which we are, but we're going in the afternoon. So, if you can't tell, I pretty much just woke up, so I look kind of like that. But, um, so I'm going to find something to do until then. Maybe I'll go for another walk. I started doing daily walks again because, well, I'm starting. I started yesterday, which was only one day. But I'm starting to do daily walks again because, you know, trim the fat. So, in fact, I think I'm going to go do that. I, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Thank you. So I'm out taking a walk, and I'm surprised I don't see anyone else out here, because it's, it's like nice outside. It's probably 93 or 94, and believe it or not, that's comfortable, comfortable temperature in Texas. But I'm like, look, there's, there's nobody out here. It's the weirdest thing. People would kill for this weather. Like seriously, it's going to be hundreds this whole week. So it's nice to have it in the mid to low 90s right now for Texas. Anyway. Yeah, I don't know. I just I expected a lot more people to be out here taking a walk. I'm comfortable. I'm happy. Oh, check it out, guys. I'm about to run this stop sign. Here we go. I'm not even looking both ways. I'm just going for it. I'm just going for it. Oh, I'm such a rebel. Do you see that? I just ran, I ran two stop signs just now. Bam. What? So I just came up with a... <coughs> Why do I always have to clear my throat? Why is that? I don't know. I'm, I, feel, I feel like I'm starting to get sick a little bit. Like I feel like I sound a little funny. Anyway, I just came up with an idea for YouTube because I just feel like this would be interesting. I feel like it would be cool for YouTube to have a little counter. Like, it would be really hard to update all the time, but just like a little counter somewhere on the website, anywhere, that says the total amount of views for every combined YouTube video. Like, just the total views for every YouTube video ever. And then I want to know how many videos have been posted total. So that way, what I could do is I could divide the number of views by the number of videos and see what the average, what average, um, what the average YouTube view, <laughs> what the average number of views per video is. Mm -hmm. I feel like that'd be really cool to know, because then I could know how far below average I really am as far as views on my videos. I don't know. I just think that'd be pretty cool, don't you? Don't you want to know what the average view for a YouTube video is? I'd like to know. I'd like to know why I why I don't get very many. That's also another thing I'd like to know. But you know what? If I knew that, that's the million dollar marketing secret. If I knew that, I would be I would just know everything. <laughs> Not really, but you know what I'm saying, right? Like if I knew what made people come to my videos, I would have a million millions of views on every single one of my videos. Like like certain like Nigahiga or Ray William Johnson have. But I don't, so I'll stick with my 20 or 30 per video that I get. Yeah. This is just a pity party right up in here, you know? I'm just having such a pity party. <clears throat> I'm gonna stop now. I'm done, yeah. So we are off heading to the gun shooting place, but first we gotta stop by our friendly neighborhood Walmart and pick up some bullets. Because Walmart sells ammo, apparently. <laughs> I did not know that, but apparently this one has hunting stuff and you haven't seen our gun yet oh well I, I want to show it to you but you know you'll see it eventually um it's a magnum this is the gun that we're bringing then we're gonna rent some rifles maybe a shotgun while we're there it's gonna be fun it's gonna be good footage too so i'm excited for this one and you should be too so stay tuned all right so we came into walmart looking for bullets which we got we got two boxes of bullets but we left with some fleas and tick things for our pet and a big old mop I'm not entirely sure why, but mo mother knows best, I suppose. Mom, you do realize that you always buy something we don't need when we go... Yeah. go. Okay. So just, just making sure the world clear on this matter. Alright, so, um, so we're, at the, we're at the shooting range. We're about to do some ski shooting. We got our 12 gauge over here with Brian. And we don't... Our ear protection is the most, like, oh, ghetto sorry. thing ever. This is mine. They're headphones from the 90s. Brian has his little earbuds in. That's our ear protection. Ow, and I should be wearing it right now. Anyway, seriously, seriously, this? I don't know, I'm gonna wear it though. Did I get it? Yes. I didn't, did I get it? No. I didn't get that one. 
All right, here we go. Brian's about to fire it right up on this one. Oh, he's loading. You almost ready, bro? All right, this is gonna be kind of like first person for the for the puller to do this. You ready? You load it. All right, here we go. All right, three, two, one. I I can't see it. Did you get it? I I don't, I don't know. I didn't see it. One. Attaboy. Two, one. Oh, nope. Two, one. Oh, you got it. Two, one. Back from the gun range and I didn't want to show or I couldn't really show the pistol firing because it was so loud. Oh my gosh. Like we actually had to plug our ears. Our ear things did not work in the pistol zone. So I wouldn't have been able to film anything. But here is our pistol that we have. It's a 357 Magnum um, revolver as you can see. And hold on, let me, there we go. I did that with one hand. That was cool. It's a, it's a revolver. And it's empty right now. Gun safety is very important. Uh, to everyone, but okay, if you guys are freaking out right now, like, oh my gosh, Greg, why do you have a gun? Uh, why are you waving it all around? Think about this. We live in Texas. Everyone has a gun. I'm sure the same is for some other states, too, like maybe even Tennessee or California. I'm sure a lot of people have guns there. So, South Dakota. South Dakota. So, yeah, I do have a gun. This is what we have for protection in our house in case someone breaks in. We just like well, we shoot their face off. And we have a dog. But if the dog, if she doesn't cut it, we have, we have a magnum. Um, and we have, our, we have our targets that we shot at. It was less than satisfactory. This is Brian's target. He hit it like, he hit it a lot more than most of us did. This is, this is my mom's target. She hit it once. <laughs> and my target, I only hit it three times. We're gonna go back there though. I'm gonna get good at this. Just you see, you wait and see. And oh, the mob fell. Anyway, yeah, so this is, um, this is our gun. Now we're all gonna sit around and play Russian roulette. So, see you later, maybe.